bro. So thick, man. This the plot was like this, and and after this, boom. Whoa. Yo, beautiful people, it is Rio here, and welcome back to more The Last of Us Part 2. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I thought Tommy was dead, yo. Is she going? Oh, this seems like it's gonna be creepy. Like, massive creepy. Jesse's parents came out today. It was nice at first. They're good people. But then they started pushing for us to move back to Jackson. I couldn't handle it and left for the woods. I didn't come back until late night. Dina stayed up for me. I could tell she was mad. But she grabbed my hand and led me to bed. I feel so guilty. When does it get quiet? Time was supposed to suffocate the urge, suffocate the desire, extinguish, extinguish. Are these her lyrics? There's a noose around my neck and the further I get... It's harder and harder to prove. I can find... Okay. I don't know how Dina talks so easy about Jesse. She tells JJ all about him. She thinks it would be good for me to talk about Joel to get it out. When she says it makes the memory sound like food poisoning, I don't want to talk about it. It's just got to hurt. Took JJ on a ride today. He laughed the whole time. I almost did a thing about Seattle one day. Who is that? Yeah. Got rid of the images pretty quickly. My skin hurt and the rest of the morning. I got up trying to go back to sleep. Dina stayed up with me. When will this stop? So, Ellie is suffering from PTSD. Like, severe PTSD. Or oh, shell shock. She Elliot shell shocked, yo. So Tommy is still freaking. He is pissed. He wants vengeance for his his brother. He wants payback, which is absolutely brutal to think about. That that Tommy would like revenge. That is insane. Is this her guitar? Yep. Play us a song, Ellie. Or has she not? Oh, yeah, she's she's played. Sit on your chair. Oh, is she gonna sing her song? That was ecstasy of gold, was it not? I woke up in the morning, I had Whoa! 
So this does happen in the game. I was thinking like, yo, maybe this was specific just for the trailer, but this actually happens. Yeah, look. She was playing that song. Now, I, I just want to put this out there. I also play that song. You can check it out on my YouTube. Uh, I got a link, link up here if you want to check it out. Just saying, just put it out there. I hate these things. Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. The only time Jesse can return is for a flashback now. She's, uh, she's putting on quite the show. Do, 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 do. I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. She, uh... Let's just all appreciate the music in this part. It's so beautiful. It's Make absolutely... It this Hi. music right here makes me hey. a lesbian. It's so good. What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Tina? Jesse? Come on. Hey, don't forget, we're heading out early, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage? Oh, okay. Oh, how about that? Gross. And she goes, you dirty dog. <laughs> staring at you right now maybe they're staring at you they're not maybe they're jealous of you I'm just a girl not a threat For this part, I've always felt like the kissing was madly exaggerated. Just saying. Hey. It's a family event. Oh, we gonna see Joe? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Remember next time there's kids around. <laughs> yeah, like you're setting such a great example. Oh, just what this town needs. Another loudmouth dyke. Fuck did you just say? Ellie, hey. Ellie, don't. Get the hell out of here. Get your hands off me. Hey! Enough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> His clothes glitched. Don't worry about yourself. Let's get you some fresh air. You all right, kiddo? What is wrong with you? He had no right. And you do? I don't need your fucking help, Joel. <sighs> Oh no. That was her last thoughts of him. Oh man, it hurts. And then to think he dies like the next day. Oh man. Oh no. And then this is her returning to kill. Oh my gosh, Ellie. Hey. Hey. Man, it's been a while since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. 
back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay? I have to finish it. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm... I'm not like you, Dina. What? You think this is easy? She actually does look skinnier, eh? For you and Has for she him, lost the weight? I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long? Just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. No. Don't do it, Ellie. Abby will rip you apart, yo. The only way Ellie can win the fight is if Ellie strikes first. If Ellie fails the strike first, Ellie's out. Straight up. Like, Abby... I'm not gonna do this again. ...is an absolute champion. That's up to you. Oh, no. If it happens again. Bro. So thick, man. This, the plot was like this. And, and after this, boom. Whoa. Tommy be blowing my mind though. He goes from like guy with no vengeance to mad vengeance. Whoa, it's freaking Ang season three of Avatar. He's got hair now. Whoa. Check the street a week ago. I can't believe you traded a pistol for this. It's a lead. No way that guy saw fireflies over here. Stop. I feel good about this. Well, I don't. Come on. <sighs> can I just say, like, wow. I was wondering how can the story go on? Abby made it clear, don't mess with me. And after that, I would not mess with her. Like that, that's probably the first time where I've seen someone say, you touch me again, or you try to mess with me again, and it won't end well for you. You know what I mean? And like, if I was in Ellie's position, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm not going to get up against that. But I guess for the last year, this has really been bugging Tommy, hasn't it? This has been affecting him. His brother was killed. His entire purpose in life is, is just crumbling down. I feel like he's also facing depression, you know? I feel like he's facing all of those key emotions that is making him just even more determined to go through this. And just the fact that he's got a lead now. And then, then you get Ellie who's been traumatized for a year and she just can't sleep. And she feels like this is the way to end it all. Bro, it's just so much. And then when we get to see in the past Ellie's last words to Joel, oh my gosh, that was absolutely savage. And I mean, we knew that they were having a fight. If you go back to like the very first uh, moment in Jackson when they're talking about um, Seth and the issue with Joel and Ellie's like, eh, I don't like him. And then she sees him die. That's wild. Before 10... It's not going to be on that side. It's all evens. Man, so... Nine, four, zero, nine. What are we... Oh. 24, 25 should be that way. Yeah. 
What are we looking for? Uh, a house. 24, 25. Wow. Now look at us. We're in Cali. Let's go, yeah. baby. This is so cool. Yes, the Seattle's not the only place. Society. What what I mean, group sorts of ways to go about ravages it. the world of, of California? 24-17. Getting warmer. Oh, I hope not. I'm sweating already. Ha <laughs> ha, because it's really hot there. Wait, why? Oh. You're epic. Wow. Ready. But where's her skills at? Right. Why are you? We're good. Di why are you different? Maybe. See, I'm like, where's her upgrades at? Why? Is she oh, she must have used all her weapons. Or no, she lost her Seems weapons. Like That's a right. Strange place to find a resistance group. We had all sorts of outposts, big and small. Best way to hide from the army. What if we don't find them here? Assuming all the leads dry up, what would you like to do? I don't know. Leave this place? Okay. Have they been doing this for a and year? where would we go? Let's wear graffiti. Does that mean fireflies? No. Nothing I recognize, at least. I reckon it's the group of California. Santa Barbara. Has to be. Yo, I am so glad that we are now, like, in a different area. What do you want to do for dinner tonight? We've got those lobsters I caught yesterday. I don't see any numbers. No. This has to be it. Right? Sure. Let's see. Good enough. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm here looking for the fireflies. This place looks abandoned. Keep searching. There's so much optimism. We painted the indoors to look like the outdoors, but the plants don't look like that. It's more like a a child's dream version of the outdoors. In the old world. It'd be common for them to decorate kids' rooms like this. My dad painted a, a colorful jungle for me. No. Oh. Yeah, I would have liked that. I bet she would have. Bro, that's what um Ellie says when Joel's talking about Sarah. I bet she would have. Maybe there's another way in. Are you being positive? I'm trying to be helpful. You're always helpful. This is awesome. Hmm. Twenty-four, twenty-five, Constance. This is the place. Okay, but there's nothing here. We don't know that yet. Do you know what hasn't happened yet? The part when Ellie is crying with all the blood on her face. That hasn't happened yet. I reckon that's coming soon though. Or maybe it's not even coming at all. Because we all know the trailers are full of shit. What about the little greenhouse? What about. Everything's empty. Yeah. That's the vibe I'm getting. Remember the last time we were in a pool? Oh, you mean when we were <laughs> plummeting to our doom? Yeah, I have a small recollection of it. If it makes you feel better, I also thought we were gonna die. 
Nope. Oh, look at him wearing normal clothes. That's cool. Oh, hello. Nada. Is it really nothing? Is she now using a revolver? She never had a revolver before, eh? This is like when uh, Joel and Ellie were looking for the fireflies. And Ellie was trying to be positive, And Joel was just like... He was trying to remain positive, but he still didn't believe it. Lev, I think we're done here. Go. Wait. You find something? Oh, this is spooky. Scratches. <laughs> Scooch. Just give it to her. Just give it to Abby. <laughs> Them underground dungeons. Hello? Oh, wow. So this was a place. But it has since been. Oh, since anyone's been here. Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. Pretty nice barracks, all things considered. This really was the where the fireflies were. Any clues to where they were going? They had power down here. Look around. She's kind of becoming like the Joel, you know? Like she's done a lot of shitty things, but she's trying to justify her actions by doing good. Guess they've got solar. Oh. Is this frequency currently in use? This is... Do you see a call sign anywhere? Oh, a what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. Okay. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? Oh, God. Standing by. I feel like she's gonna do that. Is anyone out there? And it's gonna it's hit... Nice. It's gonna hit Tommy or someone. Your frequencies. To your frequencies. Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Are these other Firefly outposts? I don't know. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello. Hello. Is this frequency currently in use? Hello, this is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? If anyone can hear me, please reply. Please answer. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Um, 24, 25 Constance. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. We're looking for fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. Where were you stationed? I was part of the Salt Lake outpost. Who ran that facility? Dr. Jerry Anderson. He was my dad. Well, how about that? We pulled everyone back from the satellite stations and brought them back here to home base. How many of you okay, are Okay, I got a weird... Four, five. I don't weird. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I'm all good.
Disregard every thought that I had. Get back into it. <laughs> 200 strong now, with a few more every month. Oh, that's right. You're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll find you. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. Over and out. Come on, let's get back to the sailboat. Okay, fine. You were right. Uh, what was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? Because it makes me feel better. And because it happens so rarely. Okay, no, no, no. I got it. <clears throat> I used to think your name was Ellie Anderson. Back in the day. But, um... I've come to realize it's Ellie Williams, so... No, no. Do you reckon the people who rang her up are actually real? Like, they might be full of shit. What's the bit we go out and we're gonna... We're gonna find some people. Naughty people. Did I not just say it? We're gonna find some naughty people. Are these the Santa Barbara people? Whoa! Whoa! Stop. Stop. I'm feeling now. Tyra. Whoa! Come here. Come here. Let me see you. You ready? Wait. What are you doing? Wait. Wait. Fuck, man! You're fine. Get that little one. Oh, no. Don't you fucking touch him! Oh, shit. So, we got ourselves another group. Or are they, they the Fireflies? Or they the group of set? You know that little mark that we saw? I reckon it's that group. I'm going to end this episode here. Freaking, we have come across a whole new squad of people. And this is absolutely insane. And we're going to find out more about this group in the next one. So keep your eyes peeled for the next one. And I will see you all in the future. Stay moist, everybody.